third grade. This week's story, we're going to stay in the Mideast. Um, this week's story is from the country of Afghanistan. It is called The Man with Bad Manners, and it is retold by Idris Shah. He is actually from Afghanistan himself, and I think that you'll like this one. The illustrations are kind of weird, but the book is good. Um, it is illustrated by Rosemary Santiago, a man with bad manners. <clears throat> Once upon a time, many, many years ago, when birds flew upside down, there was a village. Lots of different folktales, lots of different cultures in their folktales have a certain way that they start their stories. Most of our folktales that we know start once upon a time. It's just sort of a way to indicate that this is a long time ago in some kind of mysterious past. So in Afghanistan, when birds flew upside down is one of the ways they start their folktales. Everyone who had a house in the village also had a field. And in their fields, they grew potatoes and carrots and cabbages and all kinds of other crops. Now, all the people who lived in the village were very courteous and well-behaved, except for one man who had very bad manners. When Ever anybody said good morning to the man with bad manners, he would say blah, blah, blah. And when anyone said good evening to him, he would say blee, blee, blee. The people would become annoyed when he did this and they would say, why do you have such bad manners? But he would just say blah, blah, blah. Except, of course, when he said blee, blee, blee. Probably pretty annoying. For a long time, the people weren't too bothered by the man's behavior. They knew good manners from bad manners, and most of the time they didn't take much notice of the man with bad manners. But one day, he got worse. He began to go out at night and stand outside different houses, and he would beat tin cans and make terrible noises. Bang, bang, bang. This would wake the people up and they would lean out of their windows and say, why are you making such a racket? But he would just beat the cans harder. Bang, 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 bong, bang, bing, bang. The people simply didn't know what to do with him. Now, one day, the man with the bad manners went to stay with some friends in another village. How did he even have any friends? That's a mystery. The people were so glad he was going away that they all gathered to watch him walk out of town. Among those watching was a very clever boy. As soon as the man was out of sight, the clever boy stood in a box and called all the people, sorry, to come together. And when the people had gathered, the clever boy said, I want to talk to you about the man with the bad manners. Everyone spoke at once. He's gone. Thank goodness. Yes, he's gone. What a relief. We should, why should we talk about him? But he's going to come back, said the clever boy. You're right, said the old woman. He's going to come back. And then he will just annoy us all over again. Yes, indeed, said an old man. What can we do, cried the people. I have an idea, said the clever boy. I have thought of a way to make him change his ways. Tell us quickly, shouted the people. Well, said the clever boy, the man has a field, and in his field he is growing potatoes. While he's away, we'll take the potatoes out and put carrots in their place. Then when he comes back, we can pretend that it isn't his field and that this isn't even his village. What about his house? asked the old woman. He'll go to his house and he'll know that this is his village because he'll see his house right there. 
His house is red, said the clever boy. We'll paint it green so he'll think it's some other house. What if he goes inside, asked the old woman. I thought of that too, said the clever boy. We'll paint the walls a different color and we'll paint the furniture a different color and then we'll rearrange it. He's sure to think then that it's somebody else's house. What good will that do, several people said. Well, said the clever boy, he'll either go away or he'll change his ways. You know, said the old woman, it just may work. And so the people got together and worked very hard. They dug up all the man's potatoes and put carrots in the ground in their place. They painted the walls outside his house. They painted the walls inside his house. They painted all the furniture and they rearranged everything so that it all looked quite different. Not long afterwards, the man with the bad manners came back. As he walked into the village, he said, blah, 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 and blee, blee, blee to everyone he saw. And he hit tin cans just as loudly as ever. Bang, bang, bang. The people gathered around him and the clever boy said, hello there. Who are you? You know who I am, said the man with bad manners banging on a can. Oh, no, we don't said the people. Yes, you do. This is my potato field, said the man pointing to his field. But there are carrots in this field, said the clever boy, pulling a carrot out of the ground. This can't be your field. But my house is right over there, said the man. What color is your house, said the clever boy. You know perfectly well that my house is red, said the man. This house is green, said the clever boy. The man looked carefully at his house and said, Good heavens, that house is green. And then he ran over to the window and looked inside and saw that everything was quite unfamiliar. Dear me, said the man, scratching his head. Maybe I don't come from this village after all. He looked around at all the villagers and then looked down at the ground and all of a sudden, he became very sad. But if I don't come from this village, where do I come from? It's a secret, said the clever boy. But we can tell you the secret only on one condition. You must promise to use good manners and speak courteously and behave properly from now on. If you promise that, we'll tell you the secret. I promise, I promise, said the man. Please tell me. And then the people all spoke at once. We painted your house on the outside. We put carrots in your field. We painted it on the inside. We painted all your furniture. And then we rearranged it. We did it all to teach you a lesson, said the clever boy. But now that you have promised to behave yourself, we'll change everything back and we can all live happily ever after. So the man with bad manners promised again to change his ways. He promised and he promised. And he promised, and then the people changed everything back for him. From then on, whenever anyone said good morning to the man, he replied cheerily, good morning to you. And when anyone said good evening to the man, he replied courteously, good evening to you. And he never banged another can ever. And so indeed, everyone did live happily ever after. The end.